Hey, welcome back to the channel. Man, it seems like it's been a long time because it has. Um, so today we've got, uh, I got a new car reveal uh, to share with you guys and some updates on uh, the other stuff. So we'll start with uh, the other stuff. So there's Earl, uh, the, the Dragon Drive C5. Transmission went out on him uh, last fall, right before King of, the, King of the Open Road. I still went to the event. He still ran a personal best. I think his best was a 1224, I think at like 118 miles an hour. So I uh, ran really good, but I could not get it in second gear as possible. Um, so it really impacted the time. So I've got a transmission on order for that because we are like six-ish weeks away from uh, the circuit, which is kind of the beginning of my race season. So uh, I got to get that uh, transmission in, get it installed, get some test hits in, and to get ready for that event. So that's where Earl is at. Uh, we've got the C8 Z06. It's uh, it's awesome. Got like you know 3,600 miles on it now. Oh my gosh, got sludge. Got 30. We got. I've had it about nine months or something like that. So what we'll do is we'll probably do a separate video on that, kind of give you a uh, a six month or nine month review update on that car. I do have uh, some parts for it that we'll be installing on that, so that'll be good to go. And then we have our. Uh, our C7 Black Rose Grand Sport up there on top. Uh, it recently has been tuned, uh, so we'll go out and we'll take that guy out at some point, do a video on him, and do the uh, do the quarter mile stuff and see how the uh, how the tune affected it. So, um, what little I drove it seems to uh, really woken it up. Obviously, throttle response is better. So, uh, anxious to get it out and see how it does on the quarter mile. And now for the addition. To the uh, to the fleet, I introduce to you Brett, the Maverick. Yes, so it's a Maverick uh, truck XLT EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder, 250 horsepower, all wheel drive, um, black blackout package. Um, and actually, I just I mean I just brought this thing home, um, so it's uh, I got I bought it up in Iowa. It has like 800 miles on it now uh, from bringing it back down, but uh, nice driving little truck. Um, I'm really anxious to get into it. Uh, it won't stay looking like this for long. Um, I got some lowering springs already on order, and we've got some other stuff that we're going to be doing to it along the way, so it'll be kind of a fun little build series with that. So um, so I, when I order new vehicles, I pretty much tell the dealerships not to touch them, not to do anything with them. So uh, this thing still has all the plastic on the seats. You see the plastic back there, plastic up on the visors. Um, so I got to go through, I still got the window sticker on there. There is uh, these other stickers that come from the factory so I can get all this junk off. So we'll be, uh, we'll be cleaning this up. I need to, it's, I need to uh, also, I'm going to remove, remove this. Um, only chrome thing on the whole car is that. It's like, it's going to drive me nuts. So. Uh, we'll be getting rid of that. Uh, the detailer's coming. It's got some paint, some flaws in the paint. I want to have a uh, detailer come do some paint correction. That's in a couple days. And then it will go in for back to the tent studio for PPF. Uh, we'll PPF on the, the truck so it'll all be protected. And then we can, uh, we can get into it. So it's already broken. It's got the braking miles done. We'll be able to go hit that and uh, do a, a baseline with it stock. And then we'll keep running tests on it and uh, as we as we have performed parts to it so so that's kind of a, a real short brief video of what's going on like I said we'll walk through actually we can walk through this there's not a ton to show on it I mean uh, it's it's your basic Maverick it's got the uh, shifter down on here here's where you can select all your sport modes um, yeah, I mean it's just it's a it's a nice little truck. It's got cloth interior. I didn't go with leather because it's uh, it's an XLT, but uh, it's pretty much set up the way I like it. I love it's very simple, very basic, and I love that about it because um, it doesn't have things like adaptive cruise control, which drives me nuts. Um, there's just some things in new cars, you know, lane lane assist, all that kind of stuff. It just doesn't have those, which which I really like. It's just very basic, uh, kind of a bare bones truck. So. Uh, nice. I like the size. Ordered it with uh, basic. Well, here's the window sticker. So it listed for thirty, almost thirty-five thousand um, dollars. 
um, I got the Equipment Group 300A, which I don't know what all that had, and then the luxury package. Um, so it, it comes with heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel, um, you know, cruise control. It's got all that. So it's it's uh, it's just pretty basic, but it's nicely pointed um, for what I like, for what I was looking for. So. So inter interestingly enough with these Mavericks, um, they are still a hot commodity. So the 2023 model sold out, I think in like three days, uh, the entire model year sold out in three days. So they've expanded capacity down at the plant in Mexico. And uh, for 2024, I'm not sure how, how fast they all sold out, but I can tell you that the dealer I bought this from, which is uh, Champion Ford up in Carroll, Iowa, great folks to work with so if you're if you're up in the uh iowa area if you're looking for a ford um you know they do deliver so i would certainly recommend them they did a great job for me thank you very much drew thank you very much tommy um but anyway i'm not sure if the 2024 model run sold out it, the order banks opened up on july 17th i believe i placed i actually called them on july 15th and said hey if you've got allocations i want one um, interestingly enough they had 16 is what they told me and those 16 sold out the morning of July 17th, um, each and every one of them. So uh, thankful that I got one, um, but it's kind of it's kind of surprising. So you'll see them out on dealership lots, but uh, they're still they're still pretty hard to get, which is which is kind of interesting. But they are they are hot, um, and they're you know they're they're kind of cool. They're, there's a lot of things you can do with them: um, aftermarket intercoolers, turbos, intakes, exhaust. Uh, tuning is readily available for these things, so I'm really anxious to get into this and check it out. So I've already ordered some parts for this, just some little bitsy bits and pieces there. Like I said, I've already ordered the springs, uh, lowering springs. So we're going to drop this guy down a little bit, and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, to getting into that. We'll uh, we'll go through that once I get this thing all done uh, with paint protection. We'll get this thing on the road and start driving it and uh, give some impressions on that, do some performance testing, those types of things. So um, that's that's basically what we got. I got a messy garage I gotta clean up, so we'll uh, probably work on that after I, after I close off on this video. But but yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming on uh, between the Maverick, uh, between Earl and race season. Uh, we got the Z06, I got some parts going to the Z06, I need to go out and test the C7. So lots of cool stuff coming up. Um, I'm gonna get back on to uh, posting videos every every week is gonna be my goal. So we'll uh, we'll go back on that. We got some good content coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, that's about all I got today. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we will talk to you next time.